How's it going everyone? I'm Nick and uh, today I'm going to be doing best export settings for ScreenFlow 5 for YouTube. Um, so once you have recorded your little video thingy here, uh, you want to go to File and Export. And then you want to name your video whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it ScreenFlow because it doesn't really matter because uh, I'm not doing anything with it. But if you're, if you're recording for YouTube, a big part of um, search engine optimization is the raw file you want the raw file name to be uh, very similar or the same as the title for your video so if your video is going to be like uh, let's play minecraft 360 no scoping little bitches then you're going to want to call it that and then export it but if it's if yeah i'm just going to leave the screen flow uh, presets, uh, go web high for YouTube, um, and when you customize it, you can even go manage and then, uh, make your own one called, like, YouTube HD or some crap like that. So first, we want to go to scale, customize settings, or second, really, and you want to change the width and the height to, uh, either, you know, 1080 or 720, depending on what you, you want to export as, and the resolution of your screen. So, I'm going to go... Uh, 1080 so that is uh, tw no 920 by 1080 and once you've done that uh, you want to hit customize here and this will bring up a new window where we can uh, mess around with the settings a bit more so frame rate uh, whether you go uh, 30 or 60 is completely up to you um, it doesn't really matter it's it's gonna be you can upload 60 to YouTube but it can stuff up sometimes so I usually go uh, 30 but anyway so once you've got your, your frame rate picked uh, you want to change the data rate to uh, I'll put a chart up on the screen right now but I'll read it out to you as well so if you go 720 you want uh, and you're at 30 frames per second you want a bit rate or data rate of 5000 if it's 720 at 60 frames per second, 7,500. If it's 1080 at 30 frames per second, 8,000. And if it's 1080 at 60 frames per second, 12,000. So because we got the um, 60 frames and 1080p, we want to add an extra zero to this data rate here. Uh, profile, now this is a thing in um, the version of ScreenFlow I'm using, 5.0.1, uh, you want to pick a main. But if you're using 5.0.3, which is the newer version, uh, you want to go high. You want to you want to pick. There's a new. If you click here, there'll be a little little word that says high. You want to click that. Uh, Keyframe rate. Just leave it automatic. AAC audio. Um, okay. So sample rate. You want it 48.0 kilohertz. And data rate. You want it 320 kilobits per second. And you can just leave the channels on stereo. And that's about it. You hit OK, hit Export. Uh, motion Blur, the only other thing there. Uh, you don't really need to use Motion Blur. The only time you, you kind of want to use Motion Blur is if your mouse is on the screen. It kind of like uh, stops it from kind of clicking across the screen and makes it more of a smooth um, movement. Uh, but if, you, if you're playing video games and stuff, the, the Motion Blur will kind of just make you your video look really amateur and messy so um yeah and then you just wait for your video to export and uh once it's exported chuck it into whatever editing software you want to cut it up and edit it or upload to youtube as is Alrighty, guys once your video has exported it will be uh i think default is on your desktop you can change it though and then we can open it up and view it in QuickTime Player and you'll see it was just a quick little video of me moving the mouse around and stuff. I should have put Motion Blur on because I was using my mouse, but um, other than that, that's about it guys. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, it would really help me out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. On the ground, okay. So yeah, when you fall on the ground, you are... Uh get off it as quickly as possible because you're at a